Good afternoon, everyone. It's Steve KF5JUF. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. So today, continuing series on Texas Nexus repeaters and so forth. So what we're going to go over today is uh, just a quick review. We have talked about uh, what we call dual mode repeaters, where they can talk C4FM radio to radio, or uh, you can talk C4FM into a Texas Nexus chat room, or you can also go C4FM and maybe and connect directly to a Wires X if that feature is enabled on the particular repeater. So again, for hams, the first thing you want to do, priority number one, is find a club. Start getting to, going to clubs and talking to people because that's how you're going to learn stuff. So that's where you get started. That's the way I learned the most all my stuff. So a quick review, uh, C4FM is what we're talking about. This is a mode that System Fusion from Yesu, uh, it's digital. Primarily, we're going to be using Digital Narrow, which is uh, kind of the default. Uh, Voice Wide is another mode, but we'll talk about that later. So what we'll do, uh, most C4FM repeaters that Yesu has are what they call dual modes. So that means if you transmit in C4FM, the repeater will rebroadcast your transmission in C4FM, and anyone listening in C4FM will be able to hear you. The same thing in the repeater is AMS. If you transmit in FM, uh, anyone listening, uh, the repeater will switch to FM, and of course it will rebroadcast your signal. Example here, and here's C4FM. Now the repeaters, a lot of repeaters are actually dual mode, but in the C4FM they're linked to, for example, Texas Nexus. This is the repeater here in Richardson, Texas. It is shows it in FM mode. C4FM with the direct link to Texas Nexus. And if you press the Wires X button, you can access all the reflectors or rooms within this repeater. So that's what we're going to do today on Elmer's repeater, which is he's W5SLG. We had a quick chat last night on our simplex frequency 146.440, and we were kicking around the idea of Wires X. How does it work? You know, should we change the rooms and so forth? And uh, Elmer said, uh, well, go ahead and, and uh, do it. And uh, so we really, really appreciate that. And it, it's, it's a good learning thing. So this is our example today. What we're going to do is we're going to program our radio uh, for this repeater, which is 145.637.50. We're going to set the mode for C4FM. And we're also going to configure our function buttons. And those function buttons are the lower buttons that you see just below your uh, frequency and your waterfall. So this is what we're going to do here. I'll go in and I'll show you uh, later. This is where you can find a lot of your repeaters. These are the ones here in Texas. Wires, Net, Wires X. And this is the exercise we're going to do today. We're going to program memory location 20, simplex frequency, shift is uh, simplex, no tone since it's C4FM. So that's what we're going to do, and then of course we're going to configure our buttons here for meter, AMS, and so forth. So let's take a real quick look, and I'll show you. Uh, this is typically where I find a lot of C4FM repeaters, and this is the link here, and we'll put this in the video. And this is here, you just click Texas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Wires X and go to wires x and you can sort by location you can sort by county call sign and the last thing i'll show you is the wires x repeaters and i'll show you this is the dtmf code for the texas nexus and guess what there's texas nexus so i'll put all this in the video in the body of the video and we'll go ahead and switch over the radio and we will make a contact in new jersey and it's going to be pretty cool so 73 and uh video will be following right behind this thanks again for watching kf 5 juf and we're going to flip over to the radio have a good one all right good afternoon folks steve kf 5 juf or jif we're back in front of the radio here so what we want to do first is uh i want to talk about what these four buttons do whenever you change modes. Now right now I'm in FM and you'll notice I have SWR, squelch, and so forth. When I swap the mode, I want you to watch what happens. Those buttons, these are going to change. 
So what we want to do is we want to fix these buttons so that I have the meter over here. I want the AMS button here. I want the wires X button here and then I want the memory channel here so we're going to fix these two so the way you do that is you press the FM list and you go over and you locate these function buttons called F2 swap now when I press the F2 watch what happens this is going to start flashing and then we're going to go look for the AMS tag now let's go find AMS the moment I find it I'm going to press it and watch what happens. It just populated there. So that's now I have AMS where I want it. Now let's go ahead and find the wires X button, which happens to be right there, but we can't get it here because we have to go find the swap. Now there's the swap. When I press this, it's going to start flashing again. Now let's go back and find the wires X. Now watch what happens. The moment I press that wires X, it's going to move down here. I made a mistake there. I need to go here. Uh, nothing like a mistake on the video. Let's go back and press the F3 button again. F3 swap. Now let's go find the wires X. Now watch what happens. Okay, it just populated here. So now I have meter, AMS, wires X, and memory channel. I'm going to leave AMS off because this is going to be a C4FM only. So let's go ahead and program in the frequency. So we're in VFO mode, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go to mode, C4FM, and then we're going to go to frequency, press band, enter, and the frequency is going to be 145.637500, and I'm going to press enter. Alright, now we're in the mode. Now, let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to press AM once, and I'm going to locate memory location channel 20, and I'm going to press and hold it. Whoops, I actually stuck, I may have stuck that in the wrong one. Let's go down to 20. There we go. You know what, I think I actually put that in the wrong one, so let's, uh, let's go to memory mode. Yeah, I stuck it in 19 by mistake, but that's okay. What we'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and press and hold. Uh, let's see what we'll do. want to do first is let's go here. And uh, we'll go to memory list. Now we're going to go, we're going to locate that number 19 right there. And I'm going to press tag. And I'm going to name this W5SLG node. Okay, now when we go back, let's go back. Let me press. I'm in memory. To, I'm in memory too. I'm going to press uh, VFO memory. All right, there. Now we have it. Uh, whoops. Now you see right here. You see that channel D. That's causing me a problem. I need to get this back into memory channel mode. So watch what happens if it gets all messed up. So. I'm going to fix that by pressing the MCH. Now this will go back into memory channel mode because right now the multi-function knob is not doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to go back and press here. Now let's get rid of that channel D. I'm going to press MCH and watch what happens. Now I'm in memory channel mode. So the multi-function knob now is controlling my memory channels. So that's kind of a little weird quirk about this radio. but. Uh, Anyway, that's that for that. So now let's go ahead and try to access uh, the node. And we're in the correct frequency and we're in the correct mode. Doesn't seem to be anyone on the frequency. So let's see if we can connect. Okay, we're connected. Now he's still in the high towers room. So what we're going to do is let's... Uh, Let's see if we can change the room real quick here. What we'll do, I'm back up and looking at it in my notes here real quick. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and go to all.
Now let's go to, uh, so what happens here is you get the first 20, but there's actually over a thousand of them. Uh, but we can switch to America Link uh, and so forth. So you got to have a lot of them to go through here. So you can pick any one of these, but probably, see we just got to 20, so it just refreshed. Now we have 21, and if we go all the way up to 39, okay, so. see now it's refreshing again. So it gives you blocks of 20. I heard someone on the air real quick. Someone may be on the frequency. They're in High Towers room. Now you can also type search and direct, and in this mode here, you could actually search for a room. I suppose we could put Texas Nexus here and press enter. And there it is. It takes you back into the rooms with Texas. Now that DTMF, I, that DTMF code that I told you about, if you press ID, now what we can do is we can type 21636, press enter, 21636, I think that's right. Okay, that's Texas Nexus, so we just went into Texas Nexus and someone is actually on here. So we just changed the reflector on here, so that's what we just did. I hear somebody yeah, out there. Jumpy monitor. Let's see here. We have some traffic. I don't want to jump in there right on top of a... 10-3, OVY Mobile, Pennsylvania. There we go. See the distance and everything? So we've actually changed the reflector to Texas Nexus. And let's see if anyone's on it. November 3, Oscar Bravo Yankee. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot testing. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Okay, he sounds good, but all he is great. I think he came back to me. Uh, good afternoon, this is Steve, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Let's see if he's got a copy on us. Good afternoon, Steve. This is Furman, Foxtrot Uniform. Romeo, I'm Mike Alpha November Furman, and I am presently mobile in New Jersey in the Washington Crossing State Park and about to go home in Pennsylvania, which is just right across the Delaware River from me, and it's only about two minutes away from me. Back to you, Steve. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks very much. Yeah, we're actually, I'm running a, a kind of a training video on how to use WiresX, so uh, I appreciate you coming back. Uh, my name is Steve, KI5JUF, and uh, we do appreciate you coming back to us. You stay safe up there, and hopefully you don't have any snow or ice up there at this time, sir. Yeah, we had a little bit of ice, uh, what was it, yesterday? No, I didn't go out. And actually, it's sunny, and it's about 35 degrees right now. That's nice. All right, let's go. Uh, will your video be on YouTube? Yeah, it'll be on West Texas Video Gates. West Texas Video Gates. All right, I'll take a look. I always learn something. Thanks a lot. N3 OBY Mobile. All right, we'll go ahead and disconnect, and we are done. So I hope you enjoyed the video.